Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and as you can see today we are going to make a horseshoe. So this is intended to be a fun thing for obviously St. Patrick's Day. So we've got a couple of little four leaf clovers on there. You can add those or you don't have to. But let's uh, take a look at how to create this in IQ. So we're going to go into IQ. And believe it or not, we're going to grab number 12, the egg. And let me see if you can see that. Looks like you can. Um, but I think, I think you guys can see red better. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, I don't know if that's any different. But either way, so we're going to do that little egg. And then I need to actually grab this again because what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to go to size. And this little button right here in the center of this toggle switch is a recenter button. And then we're going to reduce the size until we get to basically kind of just the thickness of the horseshoe that we're looking for. And I think I might have gone a little far on that. Okay. And let's bring this up a little bit so that you can see it better. We're going to grab our eraser and I'm going to grab that little um, square and we're just going to start erasing the top of this. So the whole top needs to come out, but what I want to do is look at this line right here. It's the line right above the center point and I'm going to erase right along that and then I'll make sure that it's flat after that so that we have the exact same size. Okay, now that's pretty good. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that. Um, and you'll see why it doesn't matter if these are perfectly straight in a second. So now what we need are those little um, little top parts. So we're going to grab a square. And we're going to size this way down. And then once it's roughly in the ballpark, I'm going to squish it like that and make it into a rectangle. And you can play with this. There, is, there are no embroidery police that are going to say that's the wrong size, that's, you know, the wrong width, whatever. This is totally up to you. Um, I just try to make them look appropriately symmetric and then work from there. And I think that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do with that before I actually put this in place, because I don't want it to touch these lines, is I'm going to duplicate this and move it out of the way so I can easily grab it. Now, because um, I have that little magic wand, I'm going to re-grab this. And we're going to go to rotate. And just see how that looks there. And then we're going to kind of drop this into place. And from what I've noticed, it's a little bit less room on the inside than it is on the outside of that. So, um, actually, I need to still have a grip on that. Okay, so let's go back to rotate. I, I, I clicked on the screen and that means that I, I don't have control over this anymore. And once it touches that those lines, um, I can't grab it again without grabbing the whole thing. So that's what happened there. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of putting this into the position that I like the rotation of it and right over the top of those two little um, sides of the horseshoe. And I think I wanna bring this over just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, and then let's go ahead and we still have our magic wand. So I'm going to re-grab this guy and we're going to go to rotate. And as you can see, you can, you can move these things around with either the rotate or the size button. So I'm going to go with 10 degrees on that again because that is what I used on the other. And that's important when it comes to the symmetry, how that's going to look when you see this stitched out. Now we're going to park that right down on that. And you can use, once again, I tell you guys all the time, but these, these grids are your best friend when you're creating things. If you're not creating, it really is, you know, it's not as important, but when you are and you need to make sure that you've got, um, you're, you're going for symmetry, then they are very, very helpful. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm not. I want that to move a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. We're going to zoom in, and we're going to go to this little spot right here, okay? So I want my eraser, and it's probably way too big. 
So let's size this down. And then I'm just gonna get rid of, I need to size it down again. I'm gonna get rid of this excess line here from the horseshoe itself. And you can do that by just, its I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way here, but you can do that by just taking one pixel at a time here. Because anything you've got left here will stitch out. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's grab our pan hand and scroll over to this side and do the same thing here. Now, here's a, here's a good little lesson to show you. This does not connect here. Okay, so that well, that can't be because if I were to put, which I'm going to, to put a fill in there, it'll it'll leak out and spill all over and there will be a fill over the entire thing and that's not what we're going for here. So let's do what we have to do to fix that. I'm gonna scroll in even more because I'm gonna grab my little pen here and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the straight line and I'm just going to close this. And I don't like that. So you, you do not have to settle with something you don't like. If you don't like the line, just do it until you like it. This is much harder to do when I'm staying out of the way so you guys can see. I, I just wanna check and see if I can drop this in here and I can. So that worked. Actually, does it work? It doesn't, I don't think. No, there's a hole in there somewhere else. So let's see where that is. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's this right here. So let's just go over this again and see what happens. No, there's a hole somewhere in here. And I don't know if you guys have had this happen, but it happens. If you've watched me long enough, you've seen me go through this many times where I've got to find where that missing, and it's gonna be like one pixel and it's right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a pixel missing right there. One tiny stinking little pixel. And now it should be fine. And it is. So that is how you fix that. And the scrolling in on it is, is critical. Okay, so we don't want a red horseshoe for what you call it day, St. Patrick's Day, we want a green one. And now that you can see, I can actually put the green stuff in here and it'll work. Okay, so um, let's see, let's do, we're gonna do a satin stitch around it and you can do whatever you want. Like I, I always tell you guys, this is just how I'm showing it to you. Um, but we're going to do the satin stitch. I'm going to apply straight up to the whole thing because all of them are touching. All these line properties are touching, so I can just drop that in there. Okay, so now let's go to the third deal here. Grab number 28, the, the uh, four-leaf clover. And I'm going to reduce the size. Bring it up here, and then I'm going to get rid of this little tail. Be Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to place this little guy wherever you want them. And it's easier to reduce the size once you get that into the correct location because then you know it'll fit. Okay, so the tail's going that way. So I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to mirror so I can place that now over here. And that's just kind of a symmetry thing. So we're probably, not, you can, you can, you know, you can go through here and you can add the little shamrocks or four leaf clovers or whatever you want to call them um, around this whole thing. You can leave two there. You can, that's entirely up to you. But now you can see um, that's kind of my thought process on this. Now, here's the other key with this. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to take a look at this little guy here. That's really small. So what I want to do is I want to change that line property to, um, I want to change that to a bean stitch and oops, that's, I need to apply that all at once. Okay. So now this whole thing has that line property attached to it and we're going to drop a different color in those two. So we've got the bean stitch. I have to hit on this little, um, tail here because it is not connected to that four leaf clover. And that's why you see me doing that. Um, we can do a lighter green. I'm not sure how that'll look, but let's just try and then drop it right in this little guy. And you can see I'm grabbing the paint bucket so that it can be dropped all in there at once. And there we have a cute little, uh, cute little, what you call it, horseshoe for St. Patty's Day. And you could even add um, 
yeah, that's cute. You can even add like a little name here. You could put Luck of the Irish. You could put whatever you want in there. Um, so there is the, uh, and if you wanted to do the name, I would do that. I would bring this into, um, and I would add something, you know, whatever it is. Put in... And change that to probably small, yeah. And then go to the array. And you can affect the array, how much of an angle that has. So let's set that, drop that in, and I'm gonna bring this down. I'll show you how to affect that. If you need more of an array on that, I'm gonna grab my um, text, okay? And now I'm gonna go to array. I can actually use these buttons to increase or decrease the, the array on this. And let's see what that gets us. Yeah, that's tightening it up. And in this case, what I'm trying to do is follow the same angle of that horseshoe. So we're just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna say set, and then um, you can go in and you can actually move that into place where you want it, okay? So, and then obviously you'd wanna change that because that doesn't really go well so let's change that to gold ish. And there you go. And you can zoom in on this so you can see it. You got a fun little horseshoe. Okay, I hope that was fun for you guys. Just one more way to use your shapes and your IQ and um, come up with something completely different than it was intended. Um, its, its purpose was not intended, obviously, to do this since that was an Easter egg, but you can see how you can uh, manipulate most of those shapes to create something fun. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, I hear wonderful things every day from you guys that this is helping you with your IQ, and that's my whole purpose here. That's what we try to bring to you so you don't have to lug your machines into a big class, um, and you can get that education at home. Okay, have a wonderful day, everybody, and we will see you very soon, and um, yeah, that's it. We're, it's almost St. Patrick's Day, so stitch this out and let me know how it goes. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.